Hey everyone, year is finally over, so time for my top 3 pick and my blaster of the year for 2022. I'm that old nerd guy, welcome to that. Twenty twenty two. My top three pick are blaster. I really think you should check on, or you should just buy if they are interesting you, because those are some of the best I reviewed or I had between my hand during the year. Plus, my blaster of the year is the one that, in my sense, is above those top three pick, and is the one you really can go without in twenty twenty two. And in the upcoming 2023, since Bosby didn't really uh, release any interesting blaster in that sense, then there is Nerf. Nerf really just flooded us with a bunch of reskin and reshell. They brought us some new stuff, but it was the Nerf Pro gel fire so it was not really that good the hyper i can't really give you a top pick for hyper even if that impulse pistol was really neat because it felt like it was almost up to what they were promising us with every feature on it and maybe the alien pulse rifle which seems like the redemption of nerf limited but nerf and busby will be out of this list sorry for that now Let's start with Ickshot. Ickshot really tried to renew them, themselves this year. They changed color on the XL for the red and the gray, dark gray pattern, which is really, really nice. They brought the Phase Blaster, which were clear with red internals. And they brought the Fortress, which was basically a turbo fire uh, with, a, with a different shell, but nothing really new. And then they brought the Skins line. And this Skins line, was basically all reshell except uh, for the last 10 blaster which was a 15 round slam fire pump action blaster really the worst of this series this series was really hit and miss okay some were really good some were really bad this blaster is in the skin line and this is to my sense the top pick for 2022 for Ickshot which is the Ickshot Menace this little blaster is five dollar comes with eight of the new ickshot dart and it features cool design on it and they retaught everything that was inside it is not just a micro reshell they retaught the plunger rod which is a lot bigger they rethink a lot of things inside you can really open it easily and it almost a hundred percent accept half dart out of the box and if you remove the dart post you are set this thing will work with her, with half dart for five dollar this is an incredible value and this Ickshot menace is my top pick for Ickshot shot in 2022 the second one on this list would be a small chinese blaster that i reviewed during fall this one is such a good deal for the quality of the blaster this one operates so nice and the package that come in allow you to play right away with the blaster and to have fun with it because you are not stuck with like 10 dart with it it's gonna be this fire phoenix blaster this top solid fire phoenix from amazon is incredible i mean this is the kind of feeling you have with a prophecy or a higher grade blaster but this blaster this one cost fifty dollar comes with its magazine work with half dart is easily mod modable for uh, angle talent you can easily swap the barrel you can change a lot of things on this blaster plus for the spring you got a quick access door at the rear i mean this is a winner an unbeatable value at this price point the plastic is thick the construction is nice this far phoenix would be my second top pick for 2022 if it's your kind of blaster go ahead buy confidently this is a good one the third one on this top pick list for 2022 uh, it was almost the dart zone pro mk 2.1 for top pick let me explain they were bringing a magfed pistol to the market the problem is dart zone was a bit late to do that and it feel like it was a little rushed into the market 
and with some corner cutting here and there uh, the handle was chunky the blaster was quite big yes it was performing but a mag fed blaster that only has six rounds it's not really better than the previous blaster which was which was the mk2 yes it was an internal magazine but it was still six round so for this third top pick of 2022 it will not be the dart zone pro mk 2.1 it will be a blaster priced at the same place around a hundred dollar that comes with way less accessories but that's going to deliver a better feeling, better ergon ergonomic, better accuracy, at least to my sense, even if the blaster is a little less powerful. And this blaster would be my S200S Viper from ZWQ. This S200S Viper is basically the small brother of the Fire Rat. And it shows everything works practically the same way there is some slight difference and it used different magazine but the fact that it used different magazine is because this handle has been angled a little more towards the rear giving a way better ergonomy on this blaster plus it features a slide lock when you prime it meaning you remove your magazine you put the full one in and when you release it it is primed I mean, when you release it, this thing is prime. This is an awesome, awesome blaster. I really think you can't go wrong with this one. The quality, the craftsmanship, the research that was done. And if you own the holster to go with your S200 uh, Fire Rat, it will work with this one because they share the same uh, trigger guard on both blasters. Yeah, I really think... Another top pick, another blaster you should check out is this ZWQ S200S Viper. Those are my top 3 pick for 2022 and now it is time for my blaster of the year. Uh, as I was almost taking the MK2.1 into my top pick, of course I can't take it for a blaster of the year but dark zone kind of flooded the market this year with pro blaster they released a ton of them and that made my choice a little harder because i like my blaster of the year to be available so dark zone is always a good place to go i like it to be powerful not too expensive and somewhat innovative to the hobby and i think this one is the one blaster you really can go without in 2022 and if you don't have it please run for one in 2023 this blaster would be the dart zone max tomcat this dart zone max tomcat is pretty much a dream this is a regular fun blaster for kids with pro capabilities on it i mean this is a slam fire pump action springer with a 50 round drum a 50 half dart drum on it with slam fire adjustable stock cool ergonomic solid construction this is an unbeatable blaster and just elongating the barrel on this blaster without any other upgrade will bring it above the 200 fps mark so for all those reasons and many other that I didn't talk about, this is my blaster of the year. Because at $70, it is very, very hard to beat. Yeah, that's it for this video. But before we leave, I want to wish everyone a happy new year. I wish you health, wealth, love, and a bunch of cool blasters coming your way. In the meantime, you can always follow me on Facebook and Instagram at that little nerd guy. Please leave a like and comment, subscribe for more content, don't forget to hit that bell to notify for my latest video. This was Dave Fatag, thank you for watching, see you next year, bye!